the Padres, not much of an offensive ball club lately. First time they see Jake Irvin. Yeah, fifth start for Jake, coming off a, a rough outing. Xander Bogarts will step to the plate, try and put the ball in play. Struck out all four times last night. That is strike three. Pat Hoberg, we were pausing with him. Took him a while to pull the trigger. And for Jake Irvin, two Ks around the walk to Soto. All about firing strikes for the left-hander. Boy, if he avoids the walks, he can be nasty. Tenth start, point attending 247. High on the walks, though. 27 in 45 innings for Blake Snell. And Lane Thomas set to lead off. That ball hit hard. Left side, Kim. He dropped it, and nobody covering first. Cronenworth thought he caught the ball and never went to the bag. They'll what probably give the error on the throw, but the first baseman wasn't doing his job on the other side. That is something you never see at this level. Well, Hassan Kim, it looks like it goes right in there, and he smothers it. And I think Jake Cronenworth just assumed that, oh, ball's in his glove. But here is Manessis, who was three for six against him, all singles. There's a base hit to right, and the Nats go ahead. Joey Manessis, RBI number 25, to Ty Thomas and Abrams atop the team. Runs batted in list. Nice shot by Joey. Gets on top of a fastball that's out of the zone, but he expanded just a little bit. Nice job by Joey. And Hassan Kim coming up for the Padre. But he goes and Ooh. he is in some pain. Ow. Ow. Inside of the knee or on the knee? Uh, inside of the left knee. Hmm. A little bit of weight is not uh, too comfortable for him right now as they help him off. Another bad, bad series of events right here. Dixon will continue this plate appearance. Uh, the count is one and one. Two on pitches to left field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Sloan Garrett cuts it off. A single for Dixon. So Dixon at first with two down. Here's Trent Grisham. Fly ball, left field, struck pretty well. Back goes Garrett at the wall. He leaps, and Garrett is not going to catch it. That ball is gone. Trent Grisham just over the fence in left field hits a two run home run and the Padres take a 2 1 lead Looked like Stone Garrett was going to be able to make that catch at the wall but it's gone. Donnie from our vantage point I thought he had that one. Bring up CJ Abrams hitting 244. The center falling fast in comes Grisham he dives and makes the catch in center field. Trent Grisham doing it all he homered last inning and now he robs Abrams of a base hit diving for the gold glove center fielder says no Four walks and three in a row here in the third inning now Xander Bogart's coming up this one popped up right side stay with it Luis Garcia looking right into the sun I mean right into it and he's got it bring up Matt Carpenter Dominic Smith risky throw gets the return what a play. and they turn it both Dom Smith pushing the envelope and one of the best double plays of the year goes three six right back to three so they'll leave them loaded it's two one San Diego and waiting on Machado to left and that's it for a base hit for Fernando Second time he's been aboard he had walked in the third now a single here in the fifth inning now Juan Soto and that's ball four for the third time today Juan Soto has walked see if Bogarts can make him pay this time Some dancing out there at second base by Tatis and what we got here a balk so the runners will advance all that dancing Tatis was doing finally he goes you see if the flinch is there it doesn't matter how big or little it is front elbow if you look at the front elbow that moves and then the foot moves line to center field and that's in there for a base hit from third comes to T Soto will be stopped at third the Padres had a run go on top three to one Xander Bogert's driving in a run two down in the fifth for Rugnetto door and he lines this one to left field and that's going to get in for a hit scoring is Soto Bogart's behind him throw goes to second it's off the mark Two runs are in, and the Padres take a 5 1 lead. Rugnet Odor drives in two. Base is loaded now with one out. And Stone Garrett. Garrett swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt for strike three. Chase the curveball. Now, perhaps the hottest hitter in this series for the Nationals, Dominic Smith, comes to the plate. 
Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Dominic Smith. The second straight inning, the Nationals have left them loaded. The big strikeout back to back for Snell, six in all. Padres have a 5 1 lead. Again, like they did two innings ago, two on, nobody out. Candelario to the box. Fair Ooh. ball! Right field line's gonna hit that short corner and bump out in front of Tatis. He fires to second. Safe is the call. Garcia scores, Manessas to third, and the Nats are in business here in the seventh inning. Corey Dickerson for Stone Garrett. Dave, he gets a matchup he likes here. Yes. There's a base hit to left. Manessas scores, Candelario into third, and Corey Dickerson, the veteran, comes through in a big way. The Nats are right back at the Padres here. What an at bat by Corey Dickerson. Now the Nats get another matchup that I bet Davey likes. Dominic Smith, the lefty. Right side, base hit. Candelario scores. Dickerson to second. Tatis with a bobble, but Corey had already stopped. And the Nats have five hits in a row. We've got a one run game. Another hit with a runner at third, less than two. Nice job by Dom Smith. Call, meanwhile, does not have a sacrifice but this year, although the Padres are expecting him maybe to try because they have the third baseman and first baseman up even with a bag. Oh, that's perfect. They're going to have to make a good play to get it. Yeah. And the ball is down the right field line. Still Tying run scores. Over to third is Smith. And the Nats again force the Padres into defensive mistakes. But then run, Bob. Alex Call puts down a perfect bunt in the perfect spot and then chaos ensues and now the Nats have second and third nobody out and K. Barrett Ruiz will come in and hit for Riley Adams hard hit and that's off of Cronenworth the Nats have the lead with their seventh consecutive base hit sometimes when the infield's in everyone's like gotta elevate gotta elevate watch just hit it right through the guy talk about how hard it is to see off the bat in the shadows as well. And it just handcuffs Jake Cronenworth. A couple of pop ups now. The Padres have a chance to get out of this inning down by just a run. That will get away. And from third base, scoring. No, he's going to be out. Sullivan got him on the tag. The senior of the Nationals are going to challenge. They are. Sullivan thinks he got him. What a great effort by Sullivan. Oh, I think he got him on the back pocket. I don't know. It may have been a shadow. I think got him on that foot, actually. So the call stands. He is out. And he's going to keep it a one-run ball game with a terrific play. Incredible. Two out. Runners first and second. Root that old door. The last hope for the Padres. And Nationals fans coming to their feet. Line to right field. Down the line towards the pole. And that ball is gone. A three-run home run. Will take an 8 6 lead with two outs in the ninth inning. Don't you just love this game of baseball? <laughs> Unbelievable. We talked about Rootnet Outdoor in our game open, coming up with some big hits. Here is Alex Call with two away in the ninth inning. Swing and a miss. He struck him out in the Padres win. A 1 2 3 ninth inning for Josh Hader, who picks up his 13th save. And the Padres are victorious. They come from behind to win it eight to six in dramatic fashion.